You've heard about our kids' troubles with that bully at school, I presume? I've been briefed. I think we ought to go in and talk with the principal. It's important that you come along too not only is your kid involved, but having a seven-foot dragon along adds a certain intimidation factor. In that case, I should remember to take my apron off. Ideally. I can't do much unless I actually see this boy hit your children, sir and ma'am. But several other kids gave eyewitness accounts. This sort of thing happens all the time. MS Mud it's part of growing up. It takes two to fight frankly. When these things happen, we believe in stepping aside and letting children learn that in the real world, we use words to settle disputes. Which words? Pray, might you see your way clear to stepping on my face? See? Being reasonable is easy. So our parents are talking to the principal today, and ratting on Jeremy for beating us up. Yeah. So what are you changing your name to? I was thinking of Esmeralda M.C. Fondue. Mrs. Sorkowitz, our children have been having some trouble with a playground bully. I'm not surprised. I'm sure both of your children would have an easier time of it if they weren't so different. Children who don't fit in always have trouble with their peers. You two should be working to help your offspring to become more well-adjusted. Note to self. Schedule. Daughter. 4. A. Lobotomy. Very funny. Have you considered cheerleading camp? Do you think my mom and your dad are actually going to solve anything by talking with the teacher? You never know. I mean, if there's a reason grown-ups are in charge of everything. I guess this is it. They have years of experience that we lack. They may have insights we'd never have. For all we know, they may already have an intelligent solution to our bully problem. You think my 45 ib son should join the rugby team? Look, if he's going to have bigger kids collapsing his spine anyway, he might as well be building character. My dad finally decided he'd go over and talk to Jeremy's dad in person. Yeah? You know how in school they say bullies are just really insecure about themselves? What about it? Well, I imagine Jeremy and his dad live in some rundown trailer in a field someplace. You may enter now, Sue. Hello. Jeremy's father, I presume. Jim Studley, of Studley's Used Cars. What's up? My son's been having a bit of trouble with your son, of wait. Boys will be boys, eh? Boy, I tell ya, I got into some fights when I was their age. But your son is twice my son's size. Listen, if your kid's a wimp that's his problem. My boy's doing him a favor by teaching him to live in the real world. How exactly does getting dumped in trash cans with no real recourse relate to the real world? I can't believe you even have to ask that. Are you saying there's something wrong with Jeremy? I'm just concerned for my own son's welfare. Listen, nobody tells me how to raise my kid. You want to step outside? I believe I'll pass and take my leave of you. Good day, sir. Come on, what's the matter? Not man enough? I think we're both old enough to be above such childish behavior. So then you breathed a fireball and ignited his Porsche? Well. Not deliberately. He had on an entire bottle of cologne, and it caused me to sneeze. I'd say this ended well. Your dad accidentally wrecked Jeremy's dad's Porsche, and he has no recourse. It's poetic justice. True. On the other hand, we didn't actually find any way to stop Jeremy from hassling us. True. And when Jeremy finds out that our parents ratted on him, he may beat us up all over again. This is also true. So tell me, Zin boy, did anything good come out of all this? Well, when I was head first in the trash can, I found a quarter. Exit light. Enter night. Ta'aki my hand. Well, at least somebody around here is waking up with a song in her heart.